I've always loved the concept of time travel in science fiction, where someone goes to another time and sees what it's like. We know that if you were to travel faster than the speed of light, you could theoretically travel forward in time. But could it be possible to travel back, considering all the problems, for example, the grandfather paradox, which states that if you travel back in time and kill your grandfather, then you wouldn't exist, preventing you from killing your grandfather in the first place? Well, I think I've figured out a way. Time is a useful tool that we use on a daily basis to know when to do something or how long to do something for. It's used by our computers and different programs that allow people to do a variety of tasks, like making YouTube videos, for example. It's also used by farmers to know when to harvest their crops, and it's used by our satellites that allow for global communication. It seems like you can go anywhere today and find some sort of timekeeper. But what is time? Would it surprise you if I told you that time really isn't anything? It's not matter, it's not energy, it doesn't exist. If anything, it's a human concept that we use to help us better understand our world. It's a tool that measures the rate at which our universe changes and entropy increases. Metal corrodes over time, rocks crumble over time, and people age over time. Time is only in our heads. If you can accept the fact that time is only a concept and all it is is energy spreading out across the universe, then one can assume that if you somehow decreased entropy, which by the way is impossible, and started moving things back to the place that it was at a given point in time, you would essentially be reversing time. Sounds crazy? Well think about this, if you wanted to go back in time to the year, oh, I don't know, uh, 1990, well all you would have to do is take every object, every atom, every particle, and move it back to the exact place that it was in on the very second that the year 1990 started. And it would be that year. All the people that lived at the time would be oblivious to the fact that they had been They would have no idea that they were recreated to be observed. They would think that nothing had happened. That would be crazy. But you know what would be even crazier? Is if that was you who was created by humans from the future, who wanted to see what you looked like, or how you acted, or what you did during your life. How do you know that you didn't just pop into existence a few seconds ago? Or last Thursday, for that matter. Last Thursdayism is the idea that everything in the universe just popped into existence last Thursday. I want you to try and disprove this idea right now. You have 10 seconds, go. Okay, time's up. Were you able to do it? No? Oh well, too bad. You see, you can't disprove a negative no matter how hard you try. I could say that there's a pink unicorn that appears in front of me, but only when no one is looking. And no one would be able to fully disprove it. However, there is something that exists that can disprove both these ideas. And that's called Occam's Razor. It basically states that a claim that you, requires you to make few assumptions is more likely to be true than a claim that requires you to make many assumptions. Now that you know that, let's test your knowledge. If I were to come up to you and say that I believe the moon will rise tonight, and there isn't a cloud in the sky at that time, how would you respond? Would you say that I'm crazy? Or would you agree with me? This claim required you to make few assumptions because it's based on provable, testable facts. So Occam's razor doesn't apply to this claim. Now, if I were to make a claim like a, one I did earlier with the unicorns, it can easily be cut off by Occam's razor because it is backed up by nothing. And in order for you to believe it, you would have to make many assumptions about that claim. So you can rest easy knowing that it is unlikely that you popped into existence just a few seconds ago. But it does make you wonder, what if?